Hello? Anybody home? Hello? I see you when you pop up. Please say hi. I'm live. Woo! It's Monday. Monday fun day here at Coffin Comics. Every day is Monday fun day. Oh, that's me watching myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, who do we got coming in? Introduce yourself. Oh, there's two more. Oh, keep them coming. Oh, there's three more. Oh, Nelly. Everybody, good morning, good morning, good morning. Wait, only for Haley it's good morning. Good afternoon. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff for you. A lot of fun announcements. No, I don't want to watch that on TV, phone. Don't tell me to do that. All right, when everyone gets a room, give me a shout out. Who do we got today? We got Daryl. I do! Daryl. There he is. What's up, Daryl? How are you? Oh, God. Phone. report from Nick on something, so some cool announcements. Daryl, you with me? Daryl? Okay, who's left? Daryl, you're laughing at me multiple times. What's <laughs> up with the multiple emojis? <laughs> yes, it's me. I accidentally um, made a mistake shaving on Thursday, so when I'm like tripping up and well, <laughs> yeah, it looked bad, so I had to clean it up Mike's watching. Mike, Mc Mike McLean. Mike McLean. Hey. Two days, two days. Mike McLean's going to be with us for the launch of the Kill with Hell Witch Kickstarter. Step with the Witch. Right? Right. All right. Everybody, make your announcements. Everyone, introduce yourselves. Everyone, say hi. I see Mike is here. We got Daryl. Who else is here? Who else do we got? I got a lot of energy for you guys today. I drink a lot of coffee. Oh my God, I'm hyped. I'm psyched. All right, real quick. New programming announcement, all. New programming announcement. If you notice, up on your little, wherever it's positioned on the YouTubes or the Facebooks, there's links. There's a new link on there called the Catacomb. And the catacomb is where I have decided to take all those fun little onesie twosies, the last of the batch stuff that was on eBay. I'm bringing them home to Coffin Comic Shop, baby. They're all here. Click on the links to see what I have. A lot of this stuff is the last of it. A lot of them, there's just a few stock numbers left. Maybe a little bit more, but we're gonna keep this stuff up for about a month, and then it's gonna rotate out. So this will be your one chance to get all the stuff that I've been putting on eBay. No more eBay shipping fees because the Coffin Comics does it for you. Brandy's got it all programmed. It's all set up so you get multiple stuff. So click on those links, see what I got. On Wednesday at noon on the Swarm Nation Facebook, I will be doing a 30 minute show every Wednesday showing you some more items I'll be putting onto the Coffin Catacomb. There'll be a new spot we would be finding all these fun little gems I've been throwing up on eBay. I'm bringing them home to Coffin Comics, and that's where they're going to be at. So don't delay. Take a look. Anybody have any questions, give me a shout out. I'm so excited to be here. Let's start off with talking about what went live from the La Muerta Kickstarter that's left over. Brandy and everyone in the warehouse has really been working hard to find all this great stuff left over. And a lot of this stuff... Once it's gone, that's it, guys. It's gone. So uh, these Kickstarters have been blown up all over the place. So let me start off by showing for you guys. One thing about shaving, and then you get the slight scrub and long hair, it sticks like Velcro, and I feel like I'm getting attacked. So like, ah, oh God, oh God. So let's get started. So one of my favorite pieces the La Huerta Retaliation Crystal Metallico Edition. This is a metal cover with Schwatzky crystals. These are very beautiful. Um, I think um, this is probably my second favorite La Muerta uh, metallic jewel cover. Uh, the other one they did 
before I started, I only saw one edition of it and it blew my mind. So um, this is now my second best. This thing is just beautiful. Um, my dad's not into co uh, collecting comics anymore, but uh, I showed him this image and he absolutely loved it. And he wanted me to get him three copies. So I laughed at him because yeah, I don't see my dad doing that. Check this out. You got a few copies left, pick them up. The one edition I just happened to pick up to show you all just happened to be signed. So there you go, the Muerta retaliation stock. It's popping up on the shop. Very, another beautiful piece, Richard Ortiz. My God, this, this, this man does covers that you just absolutely fall in love with. This is the retaliation, Naughty Mama Z edition. Stunning piece. This is really, really beautiful, guys. Get them while we got them. Once they're gone, that's it. You know how the game is. So check them out. This is all this stuff we just pulled up from the uh, La Muerta Kickstarter. So now's your chance. If you weren't able to back us on the Kickstarter, now's your chance to actually get the books that you've been looking for. We have the L L Retaliation Lethal Edition. Ooh, let me pivot myself in case y'all got questions for me. This is all what we got. Not only that, with Christmas coming up, you want to turn someone on to some of your favorite uh, characters here at Coffin Comics. What a great, great gift. Beautiful art and an amazing story to go with it. Another really badass, I really loved making this. This is La Muerta Retaliation. This is Metallica edition by John Boy Myers. This is great. This is really good. And this is also the image uh, we used for the La Muerta t-shirt. So I thought it was really appropriate. Um, very beautiful piece. Like I say, a lot of the stock, once this is gone, that's it. So now is your chance. If you didn't have a chance to back us on the Kickstarter, you get to pick up still some of these amazing editions we had made for it. So don't delay, get it today. See if we have any questions for anyone. Okay, Terry, there's a link over on our page right here that you see. Click on the link, and on that link, you can go to the Coffin Comic Shop, and then that's where you just type in La Huerta, and you will find these items. Oh, this, the Crystal Otaku? Terry, okay, click on the link, go to the Coffin Comic Shop. Type in La Muerta Retaliation and put in the Crystal Metallico. Boom. It's a beautiful piece. You've got an amazing eye. Amazing eye. I really like your style. I hope that helped you, uh, Terry. Let me know, please, everyone. Let's support Terry. Let's help each other find these things they're looking for. I see you guys all over Swarm Nation hooking each other up, and that is a beautiful thing. That just shows we have some of the best fiends and the sworn any comic book publisher could ever hope for because our fans are number one and we love you all thank you so very much robert zabrowski what's up terry please do like i say also there's an option so if you want you can get your item uh signed or not and if it gets signed you'll have an awesome coffin comics certificate of authenticity booyah all right Eric, life is good. Thank you for asking. How's life for all you guys? Um, I just got to say, it was a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm excited. In case all of you don't know, I, I got a new car. Oh, I love it. I named her Lilith. She's a slick black on black. Mean machine, man. She's a sexy, sexy car. And I am blessed to have such a car. So, what's some stuff we got coming up? Well, two days. Two days. We have the Hell Witch Kickstarter is launching Wednesday. Check it out on all our Facebook pages. We're going to be streaming it live. Check it out. Those of you who have not seen our Kickstarter events, they are a hoot. They are a blast. And we make it entertaining for you. Check it out. I totally invite you guys to go to kickstarter.com if you've never backed us. Check it out. See what we got. See why we are just dominating the indie market because we have beautiful fans like you and not only that we bring down the curtains between us and the fans um, so what more could you ask for so two days Wednesday we'll be launching that 
Mike McLean will be joining us, who is the co-writer of Hell Witch, and Lady Death and Lamarta, thank you very much. So be here with Brian. Randy and I will be here. Jimmy will be here. You know, we're all just gonna have a good old time showing you the beautiful stuff we got coming up on this Kickstarter. We'll have the telephone all ready to go. Callers will be standing by. I'll be one of those callers, and I can't wait to get the messages from you guys as this is going. It's been a lot of fun the last time around, so I'm definitely looking forward to this time. Some other cool news before I get to some more of the Huerta goodness. <clears throat> Pardon me. Right now in the warehouse, our staff is putting together the Lady Death Treacherous Infamy um, bonus kits. So they're getting those all put together. They're working really hard to get those done in time so we can get everything shipped out once it comes back to us from the uh, printers and get it into your beautiful hands. Also, Monday the 19th will be the last day for uh, Give uh, Comics Give Hope charity. What we're doing is we're offering up a metal edition that will raise money for local comic shops. Um, there is no discounts on it. This is a charity book. Um, once the 19th shutters, we'll take all the money that we took for these covers and be sending it to the gentleman to donate to local comic shops. Local comic shops are the lifeblood of our industry. Uh, they have been for years. Um, I come from that background and I love going to a comic shops and I love geeking out with everyone else. Um, so I highly recommend, especially those Know your comic shops have really been struggling this year, so you know we're we're trying to throw our ring in the hat, uh, bleh, our hat into the ring, as they say, to uh, help out with this really amazing cause. So if you haven't decided on it, this is what the cover will look like. This will be a metal cover. It is a hundred dollars, and all proceeds will go to Give Comics Hope. So. Check it out. We got a lot of cool little stuff for you guys over at the website. Some more La Muerta goodies that we have uploaded at the store that are leftovers. Hmm, pardon me. From the Kickstarter, the homage Desperado Metal card. Beautiful. This is a real metal card, guys. If there's any of these car fan card collectors. These are really neat, unique gifts. They're made out of metal. This is the Predator. Richard Ortiz. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ed Benitez. This is the Vigilante. I really like that. I, I almost would like that as like a t-shirt or a, a cool hoodie. That would make a cool image. Whoo, you can't go wrong. This is lethal. By Elias Chatzoudis. Look at this piece. Stunning, stunning. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. That is a metallic card. These are the items you can get at the Coffin Comic Shop site. This is the Coffin, Coffin Co. La Muerta. This is our parody of a Funko Pop of La Muerta. This is a metal card, and I believe these images were also our chase editions for this Kickstarter. And then... The very stunning The Dark Reaper by Monty the Man Moore. This is a real stunning piece, guys. As you see, we have this image as prints. We have it as metal cards. We have it as covers. The covers right there is a crystal metallic cover. That means they're not going to last because they are beautiful. I mean, this is a striking image. We only made 150 of these, folks. So once that's it... End of story. Also, some amazing prints like ammo. Diego Bernard. These are 11 by 17 prints. They are available now at the Coffin Comic Shop. Just click on the link and make your selections there. This is the ride. Very stunning. John Boy Myers again. This is Splatter. Beautiful cover. Beautiful art. La Muerta is a beautiful character. I love this character. Here's a nice, nice big blown up version of our uh, Funko homage. 
This is the La Muerta one. Had to be nice to see some of these on the market if it was ever to happen. Oh, and check this out. I showed you the cover. I showed you the metal card. Now I got to show you the 11 by 17 print. And there's a nice message for all you people out there. Happy Halloween. <laughs> okay. And last but definitely not least, this is the Deadly Duo by the artist of La Muerta, Joe Gomez. This is a really cool piece. Absolutely stunning. These are just a little taste of what we have on there. As we find stuff, uh, we'll be putting up more and more on there. So, everyone knows I had a little uh, issue with eBay. So, I decided to turn lemons into lemonade. And we started the Coffin Catacomb. Today is the first day we are offering these things. Uh, hey, what's up? Jay Taylor? Me too. So speaking of La Muerta, over at the Coffin Catacomb, you will find one-of-a-kind items such as this full body art piece from Joe Gomez. This is from um, the previous uh, La Muerta Kickstarter. Um, oh God, not Last Rites. Ascension. It's the only one I have. This is it. It's an original piece by Joel Gomez. It is a full bodied image. And he's got a splash of watercolors. This is what's all type of stuff you'll find at the Coffin Catacomb. And a lot of that stuff, like I say, is onesie twosie. I do have some stock that, you know, are in some double digits, but they're kind of low. So don't delay, get them today. Another cool item I have thrown up on there as well is Lady Death of Reckoning number one. This is the three piece that Dan Mendoza did with us with a remark by Dan Mendoza. Uh, that go will be 175. Click on the catacomb, buddy. Jay, get it. That's the type of stuff I love that I get to show you all. It is just amazing. Beautiful books. Oh, Terry, congratulations. Oh, that's awesome to hear. Thank you, Robert. The Gomez cover, Jay, uh, Kitchen Area is 175. I only have the one. Scoop it up, man. I've been looking for a little Muerta fan who deserves that. And you're the one I'm looking at. You deserve that. Right on, right on. Terry, I'm so glad you got that. Thank you very much. Another item I put up here, this is an AP. This is Chaos Rules number one, Superstar Metal Edition. This is an AP. This is the kind of stuff you're gonna find in my adventures in digging through the catacombs that is Coffin Comics to find those gems and the treasures that only Coffin Comics can make. That's right. I may be cocky, but it's true. Another onesie I found, I might have a couple of these. These are all signed. This is Lady Death Zodiac. This is the premium foil edition. So there are about a couple of these left. If you want them, get them. Now's the time to do it. Also, I have a couple of the La Muerta Vengeance Crystal Metallica one. This was another stunning one from a couple years ago. These are Schwarzsky crystals on it. Oh, wow, they're actually shining for me for a change on a metal cover. Got a few of these on there. Definitely check it out. Landon Scully, what's up, brother man? How are you today? Thank you for joining. Thank you for coming into the club because that's what we try to do. Coffin Comics, love you all because we are fans and we love talking with fans like you. I love it. Love it. Also, a vault set. This is a vault set. Lady Death, Lingerie, Heaven and Hell Edition. Art by this is Ali Garza. This is a two-pack set, folks. 
This is a vault. They are number six out of 113. Number six, get over there, out of 113. Vault set, vault set, I got you out of vault set. Other choosy stuff. Once these are gone, these are gone. The Captain Death Edition, Oblivion Kiss. This was really popular. I think it was San Diego Comic Con last year where we first offered it. Very popular image. Gorgeous. Dan Feldmeyer and Stephen Butler. What a wonderful team to have working with us on these amazing editions they do. So, thank you, thank you. Got a publisher file in the house. Publisher file. This is the La Muerta Descent. Sketch edition, this is the Violet line art. There was only 20 of these published. This is a publisher file. Got my pretty little stickers right there. We got the cool, oh, I forgot to put the COA in the back, so I'll have to put that in right after the show. Onesies, twosies, maybe a little moresies. I don't know, guys. Here, there's probably about eight or nine of these left, and I can have them. Again, this is a jeweled edition. This is La Muerta Descent uh, Calavera Edition. This is the type of stuff you will find at the Coffin Catacomb. Check it out. Beautiful piece. Richard Ortiz again. Just cranking them out and making us all salivate at the beauty. Yes, salivate. On the eBay store, I have some of his earlier works um, doing the uh, covers for the Lady Death Avatar stuff, so I do have some of his earlier stuff. If anyone is looking for some of that, you can find that at the Coffin Comics eBay store. Another cool one piece. This is Lady Death Scorched Earth Homaz Edition with a Mr. Butler, Stephen Butler, Remark. Right up there. This is the only one I have. This is on Coffin Catacombs. This stuff I will keep up. They'll slowly, the stock will rotate out after a month. There'll be some stuff I might keep up there a little longer. Might not. But they will come back later if they're still around. And if anything does drop off, folks, just give me a call. Message me at inquiries at coffincomics.com if it hasn't sold out and you just dropped off, I'll see what I can do to get you hooked up. Because that's what we do for you. And I thought this was appropriate. I absolutely love these covers. I wish I had the uh, matching Lady Death to go with it, but I think I'm all sold out. This is La Muerta Pinups. This is a trick-or-treat edition with jewels by Sam Sawyer. This is absolutely adorable, guys. I love this. I'm glad I had at least a couple to show you guys just in time for Halloween. Very beautiful piece. It does have Schwarzkey crystals. I'm getting better at this without the uh, vodka, too, by the way. Do, 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 do is on my floor. All right, I also got two copies of Lady Death Apocalypse Abyss Jeweled Edition. These last two copies are signed. These are jeweled editions, they are signed. I only got two of these. These are beautiful pieces, folks. These are something you want to hang on your wall and show off with pride. They're that beautiful. I also have two of the Kickstarter editions on Holy Ruin Homage done by Marat Michaels and Dan Feldmeyer. Beautiful, awesome, love it. This is the homage to Walking Dead Number one. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and John, again, in time for Halloween, guys. Figure I had to put these out. I have a Lady Death, Mischief Knight, Death and Stein, Monster of Death and Stein, Damage Editions. I have one signed, and I have one copy unsigned. These are the type of things you're going to find at the Coffin Comics. Catacomb, or C Coffin Catacomb, it was the actual name. We dropped the comics because 
you kind of a tongue twister, and you guys know I'm not good at those. And don't you dare challenge me there, Haley, Miguel. I'm looking at you two. I know you guys like doing that. And probably one of the most fun, unique items I get to show you guys here at Coffin Comics. <laughs> these are awesome. Um, last year, these were available at uh, FiendFest. These are the last two by the great Jeff Kinnear, Lady Death Coffin Barf Bags. Number two and number three. And there is a COA inside the bag from Jeff Kinnear. Last two, these were available at FiendFest. So get these. These are the last two. A very cool, unique item. Has a COA inside. Shots. Oh, yeah, you, Miguel. Shots. Oh, don't tempt me, brother. I still got a half an hour left to work. Got a beautiful number three edition. Beautiful number three. This is... Lady Death, The Reckoning, Dark Queen Edition. This is a number three out of 99. It was a WonderCon Anaheim exclusive. It is jeweled and it's done by Richard Ortiz. Check it. And it even comes with the amazing number three certificate of authenticity. <clears throat> wow, that flows like a song, man. So beautiful, so beautiful. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh, another set. I only have one of these. I wish I had more. I have the La Muerta Ascension Legend set. Comes with the La Muerta Ascension. This is all Ebass, folks. This is the Noir Legend is inside. Look at that beautiful piece. <sighs> also includes the Legend, stunning, beautiful, beautiful. And the Naughty Legend Edition. All pieces are done by Ebass. This is a legendary set. It is a three book set. I will not break up the set. They all have matching serial numbers. Each one of those have a serial number of 48 out of 50. Other fun, amazing things. I found one of these and I was happy. I was giddy. It's a damn Mendoza. It is the Lady Death Sad Girl Psycho Baby crossover cover. This is number 122 out of 125. This is the only one I've found so far. I think I might have a uh, Naughty Crossroads, the uh, very cover to that. Uh, possibly in the near future. I got my fingers crossed I can find a couple of those for you. Another thing we got, classic by Bill McKay, Lady Death Echoes, F the World Edition, number 91 out of 100. That's a very fun cover. Look at that. Bill McKay has a lot of fun with his art. And we love him for it. He still catches all the attitude of Lady Death in a nice... Beautiful cartoon look. I love it. Love it. All right. What other goodies do I have? This is all stuff you can find at the Coffin Comics. Not the Comics. Coffin Caddy Coffin. It'll take me a while to get used to the day. I know we're brainstorming a while on it. All right. These ones, I have about six left. These are all signed as well. This is Lady Death. Zodiac number one, this is the Naughty Celestial. And there was only 200 copies made. I believe I have the last six. This is it, guys. Yes, I do include the COAs. So get them, get them, this is the stuff. The catacombs. Try to open up those catacombs just for you guys. This is where you're gonna find all the really beautiful Cool, onesie, twosies, the end of the line stuff, that's it. Got a few of these, 125K. This is the Lady Death Fantasies 125K edition. This was offered uh, for a Kickstarter. There is three or four of these left. 
You find all these things, the coffin catacomb. Coffin catacomb. Catacomb, 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 catacomb. Other fun stuff I thought I'd break out for the festive season of Halloween. We got the coffin spotlight on the daughter of Satanus, another awesome homage cover. I believe this is also the last copy. I could be wrong. There might be a few, but there's not many. And this, the cover that reminds me of my wife. This is the Lady Death, Merciless Onslaught, Karamiya edition. These two are almost gone. I think this might be the last one. Also, I have La Muerta pinups. Naughty Mama Z from the amazing... Dan Mendoza. Also, I have three of these guys. Um, this is pretty cool. This is La Muerta Retribution Naughty Sombra Edition. And each one is signed by Mike DeBalfo. So I have three of these. If you'd like, I can't wait till I get my hoodie too, man. I need a new hoodie. If you like, Brian can side this and you got a double signature right there. It's a really beautiful piece. Still got the black stars. Don't want to get in trouble now. But these are three copies signed by Mike DeBalfo. So just think how great it'll look in your collection if you get Brian's signature on it as well. Some other really cool things. I was really ecstatic to find this. Um, I thought these were long gone. Um, and then I ran across the La Muerta Descent. This is the Crystal Edition. Signed by Brian, it's number 16. It is uh, Schwarzky crystals in there. This is a really beautiful image and those crystals just enhance the art even better. Again, Richard Ortiz, always knocking it out of the park when it comes to these La Muerta covers. They're just stunning, beautiful pieces, guys. For all you ones to salivate, I have from, uh, what, is, what is this? This was from Blasphemy Anthem. This is an artist proof. This is Blasphemy Anthem. This is the Scarlet Metal Edition. Lady Satanist right there. Don McTagg cover. This is a metal cover. Wow, that reflects so nicely. That is really beautiful. So I only got one of these. And it is yours. Just click on the link. Coffin Catacomb. You can find that. And if there's other things you want to look for, surf around the Coffin Comic Shop as well. There's lots of goodies in there, including earlier when I showed you guys the uh, La Muerta stuff from the previous Kickstarter. I also have a great mock-up of Blasphemy Anthem Legend Noir. This is a mock-up. We actually use this for our promotional videos and Kickstarters. We're promoting it for you guys. Brian does videos almost daily when there's a Kickstarter going on. So this is a mock-up. It comes with the COA mock-up. Just explaining a little bit what our mock-ups are. It's a one-of-the-kind item, everybody. One-of-a-kind. I don't know if there's two mock-ups of that, but I've only seen one. Some other cool stuff I got for y'all. Uh, the last copy of Unholy Ruin, Mega Foil Edition. This is signed by Brian. One of these left. This last number is 219 out of 300. I was able to find uh, another one of these, um, I think, before um, the whole shutdown happened, and that got scooped up fairly quickly. And then I also have the Last Rites number one, Heavenly Mama Z and Hellish Mama Z set. Hey, the stars are still there. This is the kind of stuff you're going to find me uploading on the Coffin Catacombs twice a week. On Monday, 4 o'clock, new items will be added to the Coffin Catacomb. Monday's 4 p.m. just before I do my show here. And then we'll do another show Wednesdays at noon at the Swarm Nation on Facebook. We're going to be doing a live show, 30 minutes, every Wednesday, me showing you some of the other cool stuff I have in the catacombs and, you know, bring all these beautiful people on the camera with me and tell them what is it 
about us that that brought you to us. And I've gotten a lot of really beautiful messages and read them um, from customers uh, of ours, the Sworn and the Fiends. And it made me feel real proud to be a part of a company that makes people, um, I, I can't recall the exact quote, he's like, you make the undesired feel desired. And that's what we're here. We're a big group of people. We, we're a hell of a big group of people. Uh, Sworn and the Fiends, we've been coming together a lot. Everyone backs each other up. Everyone helps each other get their collections filled. Troy's out there doing it. Bob Conister is out doing it. There's so many people with such a lovely community, and I'm really proud to be a part of that. And I'm glad that for you folks um, that watch us and support us and are always, you know, talking it up about us online, um, you are special. Don't let anyone ever tell you that. Remember that. You're number one. You're number one to me, too. All right, so a couple other things I want to say. Um, got a few minutes, so this is all stuff you can get. I might have to bring one of you on camera, and I kind of want to show you guys briefly what to expect on Wednesday coming up. <laughs> Thank you, Terry. <laughs> Terry bought me out. Yes, Bob does rule, everybody. So just real quick. Is the HQ headquarters. As you can see, we're getting everything ready for Wednesday for this amazing presentation of the next chapter of Hell Witch, chapter three. I'm not going to raise these. I'm just going to show you how it is, just so you can get an idea of how big this is going to be. I mean, our Kickstarters just get bigger and better. And we're always having fun. And it shows because you guys are having fun with us, and that's the way we want it. Oh, I wonder what could be under there. Hey, Gary Compton, when you watch this, look at all of those awesome prints. Anyone doesn't know, uh, Gary Compton's another big fan of ours. He collects 11 by 17 uh, prints, and he has amassed a heck of a collection. Terry, you know what? We will have a big event. Um... For those who don't know, we uh, have moved Swarmfest back a year. Didn't get forgotten. And there's Brandy in the background somewhere. She's hiding. She, what? What? Oh, there she is. Everyone's favorite warehouse manager. Ah, it's an earthquake in here. Oh, show my shoes. Show my oh shoes. wait. She, she's got new. These are really cool shoes, guys. Check them out. Oh, nice. <laughs> nah, those just came in yesterday. I bought them. Yes. <laughs> and there she goes. Ladies and gentlemen, Brandy Sparkles. <laughs> See, we always have fun here. It's always a hoot. Here's some of the metallic cards we're going to be showing. Yeah, be a part of it. Be a part of it. Be a part of Sworn Fest. You still have your tickets? Your tickets are still good. Yeah, I know she's wearing all black. Isn't that shocking, Miguel? She sometimes does do that. Look at all of the beautiful things. And look at, the, look at the art. This is a copy of some of the interior art. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Woo, that is hot. Look at that. So amazing. Wednesday, the next Kickstarter, Hell Witch. Volume, chapter three, Sacrilegious. Look at, the, wow. That is a hell of a page right there. Look at that splash page. Mm. Stunning, guys. Stunning. We couldn't do this without you guys, so thank you very much. Look at that. Look at those interiors, man. And again, the one, the only Mike Mayhew is doing our legendary covers. Must be laundry day for Brandy. Why? Because she's wearing black? <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't think it was laundry day. These are, um, che no, these are, might be the um, mystery envelope stuff right here. Look at that. Look at all that stuff. And not only that, you know we're going to tip in something extra. We always do. Brian's always throwing in something extra. But this is a statesia of what's coming up on Wednesday. Oh, and there's more. As I pan over here, I believe these are where we will be showing you 
the Chase editions. What could they be? I don't know. You'll have to tune in and find out. And of course, the Mike Mayhew Fire Starter Fine Art Print. Look at that. Beautiful. And this is on really high grade paper, folks. This is not just regular print paper. Alan Ramsdell, thank you for joining us. Uh, should be around six. You know, we always do these fun little pre-shows that'll go right into the launch. But for more information, you guys should click on to the Coffin Comics VIP newsletter. There is a link on the show for it. So you can be in the know all the time about all the great things we do here at Coffin Comics. And we do a lot of great things. We're always doing fun things. Um, and we're always inviting you guys in to join the fun with us as always. Okay, for the Kickstarter, Wednesday, October 14th, two days from now, Hell Witch Tech Religious Chapter League launch a Kickstarter at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Just hang out over at the uh, Sworn Nation site, Brian Polito's uh, Facebook page, Lady Death Universe Facebook page. We usually are streaming them out of every spot we can. Um, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, Brian gets to do what he does best and show off all the new stuff we got coming up. Um, operators will be standing by, of course. I'll be one of them, and I can't wait to talk to some more of you people. Uh, the last Treacherous Infamy uh, Lady Death Kickstarter did was the first time I did any work on the uh, Kickstarter uh, forum and the webpage, and I really had a lot of fun. Um, it's, it really um, impressed me that I, I got a message from a, a backer in Ireland that said he watches the Monday shows on YouTube, and I was like, oh my God, that's right, we broadcast there. So also subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you can't watch us here on Facebook, we're always constantly reloading it and putting it up there on YouTube, so check it out. There's a lot of good content in there. Subscribe to it. Jimmy's out there uploading stuff as often as he can, the man is a marketing genius. He's up there busting his butt all day long to get you guys everything you need on the social media, videos. The man does a lot of work, so if you don't, let's give Jimmy a, a round of applause. Good job, Jimmy. You're really cranking him out. You're really making some really beautiful uh, stuff we send out to folks. Bob is in the house, everyone. Everyone say hi to Bob. I want to see five all caps Bobs popping up right behind Jay Taylor. John Johnson. Hey, welcome to the club. Were you in Honolulu? Me? No. Me? Terry? No, no. You don't want to see me on a beach. I'll blind you all. This body hasn't seen sunlight since. 1987, so yeah, you don't want to see that. It radiates, it is blinding, it is a force to reckon with when I take off my shirt. I glow at night, okay? I admit it, I glow at night. Bob, 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 yeah, we got the bombs! Tina, thank you, Miguel, thank you, Alan, thank you, Landon, thank you. Thank you for giving Bob a really big shout out. Thank you, everybody, you are beautiful. Con? Oh, the, the Honolulu con? Is that what you're talking about, Terry? I wish. Uh, I don't know. It sounds weird. To, uh, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. It's like, wow, they're doing com comic cons out in uh, Honolulu. But it's like, hey, you know, the comics are huge. Let's see if there's anything uh, up to. Oh, some upcoming things for you guys to look forward to. Uh, first quarter 2021, pre-orders start on the Hell Witch 6-inch action figure. Stay tuned for that. Also in the first quarter of 2021, pre-orders start for the one-fifth scale Hell Witch statue. That's another thing we got coming down the lane. Second quarter 2021, pre-orders start for the La Muerta action figure. Yeah! Can't wait to get my hands on one of those. Also, new date, Swarm Fest has moved back one year. It's three fun-filled days of comics, collecting, and camaraderie. And we moved it because we want to make sure everyone can be here. 
everyone come together from all over the world. The fiends and the swarms, they're going to converge into Mesa, my old stomping grounds. And we are going to have a weekend you guys will remember. Just like all those who attended the Swarm Fest, it was a lot of fun. And I've done many cons. I've done New York Comic Con. I've done San Diego. And I never had a booth get hit as hard as I did there. I thought I'd seen it all. No. Then I met the Swarm and the Fiends, and oh my God, that was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Let's tilt this up so you don't see my chubby belly. All right, guys. Real quick, uh, I got about 15 minutes. I want to bring one of you all in here. Let's see. You know what? Let's see, Terry, I'm going to invite you on if you'd like. No, I don't want myself on there. I'm already out of here. Tina Reed, where are you originally from? Um, where are you originally from, uh, Arizona? I see uh, you wish you were back. No, I don't want to. All right. Let me know, Tina. What part of town were you from, too? I'm an old school native. All right, let's see who we can bring on. I want to bring someone on. Let's bring someone new. Let's see. How about... Oh. Uh-oh, Ace just popped up. All right, Landon, you got it. Landon on. Everyone, I want to see five huge Landon, Landon, Landon. Come on, Landon. Let's get you in the house. Let's get you into the Coffin Comics War Room where you can join me. Oh, this thing forever to add people. Hey, Landon, it's in the house. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody, big shout-out. I need to comb my beard. I haven't seen my beard. Oh, yeah. Days. I'm looking Dude, that's, that's looking, looking great. great. You know who you could be for Halloween? Samuel Sam from Diary, uh, Diary, uh, Diary of the Dead. Or Diary, Diary, of the Diary of the Dead. The honest guy. He was badass. I'm telling you, dude. You look amazing. There we go. Nice. nice. So what, so what brings you, what brings you on today, dude? How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I took a four-day weekend off from work, so that was nice. And brings me on is I love Lady Death. I mean, hashtag Sworn Nation. Yeah. yeah. Right on, man. And, and I, I've joined, joined, joined on, on Wednesdays at noon. I'll be doing a show for 30 minutes there showing more stuff, stuff I've been putting up on the catacomb. The catacomb. Awesome. And what, and what are you looking, looking forward to this upcoming case starter? Well, I ordered, the wife got the mystery envelopes, and then I got, oh gosh, not I got the metallic card set with the Trevor nice. Dice regular edition. So that's my first Kickstarter with Lady Death, and I'm super excited. Cool, cool. and I see there's uh, some, some nice uh, books, books uh, behind, behind you there. Yeah, yeah, that's, well, that's I like print. that. Got the print from yeah. her, and then, that's, that's gorgeous. see if I can get, there we go. That looks that great. great. Did you frame that, that yourself? yourself? I did. Nice. nice. I should have sent you my stuff to get framed. Then I got my. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, that, dude, that is beautiful. beautiful. And of and all your all collections, you what's your favorite, favorite one, and how long you've been collecting Lady Death? Death? That is back on the bookshelf in the other office, and it is the original first Lady Death trading card that you guys made. Nice. nice. Uh, 19, 19, 1980, 1990. 94? 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. 94. And, and I'm, I'm still, still finding, finding new editions. I'm like, when the hell did you make this? When did when that did come out? out? And the, the story you tell, it's like, oh, well, young lad. lad. I'm just like, dude. Like, <laughs> it's so it's much so art. art. I mean, I'd, I'd love, love to see, see his, his archive. archive. I'm sure it's just stacks, stacks of just art upon art with comic book editions. I mean, he loves to keep everything he makes. On the Kickstarter, right? Um, 
that stuff goes way back. I mean, I mean if you're, you're ever, ever in here, if you're gonna, are you going to make it out to Swarm Fest next year or 2022? Because the tickets are still good. We just moved it up a year. So that way everyone can attend. Good, good. working on her Lady Death cosplay chest plate thing right now. Nice. Nice. What's some other? Do you do a lot of cosplay stuff yourself? Not me, but she does. Really? Really? And do you yes, fabricate, fabricate the stuff or help her build it? build it? Yeah, I definitely help with that. I'm previously welder fabricator, CNC plasma cutter. I do uh, this kind of stuff, like the flash. Oh, oh. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. cool. Got my lamp size Harley. Say hi, everybody. That's my girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so what got so you into comics? What was the one thing that, that made you like, I'm, I'm hooked and I'm, I'm a fan? I'm a geek. It's in my blood. It wasn't just one particular thing. I can't help it. No, I agree. No, I agree. I, my parents, my parents um, um, were big Star, Star Trek, Trek fans. fans. So, so when, when I, the earliest memories I have is watching TV in my rocking chair, which I thought was the command chair for the Enterprise. I pretend I was Kirk with my peanut butter jelly sandwiches watching Star Trek. <laughs> True, True man. man. I was a young kid. Oh yeah, the Captain Kirk baseball. <laughs> <laughs> so, are so you going to be watching this for the Hellwitch Kickstarter in two days? Absolutely. I don't know if I have enough money to get in on that one, other than like the bottom tier. But I'm going to try. Hey, you hey, know what? You know what? All, all, one thing, one I, thing like I like about, about what we do, we, do, we have stuff for folks that, folks that you know, you know shoot for the moon prices, prices and we got stuff that are affordable, affordable for everyone like you and me. It's like, hey, I'm not, I'm not a huge collector, but that's, that's the cover I want, and it's at a great price. price. Yep. And, and is there any particular artist you would ever like to see with a Lady Duff cover that hasn't done one yet? Oh, that's tough. Most of my favorite artists have done Lady Death covers, uh, like Art Germ, one of my favorites. Uh, I think Tyndall's done a few covers, also one of my, he did the, my ultimate favorite cover, which is the one where she's on the motorcycle, the Road 666. Yeah, that's a good that's one. That's phenomenal. So that's one of my favorite artists. It's, there's not many artists that I like that you guys haven't tapped already. Wow, wow. That's, that's pretty impressive. impressive. You tap a long list of artists, what's well, like a couple hundred at least. I know. I know. He, he, why is he like, oh, I have, I have, I have tons, tons more. more. I'm like, like, where do you keep all this? Where are you finding these artists? Uh, you know, I, I don't think, I think what, what he does, does is he just checks, checks out, out um, um, like artist alleys. Alley. You tell me sometimes you walk out, see what's caught his eye. Sometimes just, I get, I know people that used to have stuff on, I was the one a lot of artists were doing. Site. I forgot, yeah, I forgot but DeviantArt. Deviant Art. Um, um, yeah. I, I've seen yeah, a lot of people, lot of people like, like uh, I know that are comic book artists put their stuff on there, there to kind of get noticed, noticed as well. Yeah, that's a really good site. I've got a lot of a lot of wallpapers on my computer I've taken from that site. <laughs> 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 that's a good one. Right, that's really cool he does that because that gives a, a way for newer artists to break into that industry, which is something that Marvel and DC just don't allow them to do very often. I agree. I agree. I, agree. I, agree. I, agree. I, I think, think it's good because um, um, Brian, Brian really, when he finds a, a new talent, he really pushes, pushes them. them. I mean, he, he pushes, pushes them to just, just go, go beyond what they've, what they've done, done before, before. And then and he really, really promotes, promotes their works. Their and he's really, really, he's like, hey, they're a partner. Let's, let's uh, introduce them to the world. And it's great when they take off. It's just amazing. always ask for the best you can do. Now, what's some, now, what's some other, other stuff, stuff that we've done in the past, past that you're like, I wish I could, could grab, grab one of those, but I have a chance. And every time you see it, it's like a stake in your heart. You're like, don't go hard. As a welder and a CNC guy, that would be every metallic cover that's ever been made. Really? really? And they're so expensive to get them after the fact. I mean, $200, $300. Sometimes, Sometimes uh, um, when we read after, after the Kickstarter, check on the stores. Like I say, when we have some available, I'll start showing them off. Because, because those, those are some, are some of my big things. things. The, the first, first thing, thing I ever sold from Compton Comics was, was uh, a metallic jewel cover at Phoenix Comic Con in 2014, 2015. 2015. Me every time I see them, I'm like, oh, I must, I must have, give me. Dude, dude <laughs> I, agree. I agree. That lethal one, the Muerta one, this is just. <laughs> the, the, 
this is beautiful. That's super cool. I mean, I mean it's it just, just stunning. stunning. I think my favorite one from La Muerta is the um, the sworn on her back. Oh, I yeah, see, that's, see, that's, that's one the ones I get to see. see. You know, with the back tattoo? Right, cause they did yeah. Yeah. Cover too, didn't they? Yeah, those yeah, are those really stunning really pieces, and I, I, I got, got my work cut out with all the metals, metals we'll be making for that, because I now make the metal covers, covers. So, so I, 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 I got my work cut out. That's amazing. It's fun. I love that. I, I get to do a little bit of all these different things around here at HQ, and it, it's fun because it's never a dull moment. We're always busy. We're always having fun. And somewhere somebody's cracking a joke at someone's expense around here. Usually it's random. We make fun of everyone else. <laughs> yeah, I hear that. I think that's a trend across all comic shops. I help out at one of the local comic shops around here with their live sales and stuff. And definitely it's a lot of fun no matter what shop you're working at, I think. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's, 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 that's how, how uh, like, uh, uh, my comic, comic shops, shops, I mean, I mean heck, my face. <laughs> photo <laughs> is, uh, ten years, <laughs> ten years ago, it was, we, hadn't, we hadn't gotten got much rain, and I told, and I told my staff, staff if it rains, I'm going to go outside and drop my pants while it rains. So there's a picture of me outside in the rain in my boxers. Nice. My favorite Halloween ones, which were Wolfman boxers, which I can't find yet. Now I said it, now I got to do it. Okay, I said I'd do it, I'd do it. I'd do it. <laughs> so is there anything you want to say out there to the beautiful people on our channel? I was just going to say that Lady Death stuff on the board is amazing. But as far as the channel goes, you guys are awesome. Thank you for welcoming me as like part of the family and the sworn nation and on the page and everything. I really appreciate the feeling of you know, connectedness, if that's a word that I can use. That yes, you yes, can, you can use it. I allow it. That we all share in that community. It's really awesome. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're a really, really good bunch good of people, people and um, um, we're lucky we're to have fans, fans and supporters, and supporters like, like we, who we have, because they're, they're beautiful people. people. Well, thanks for having me on the show, if you're done with me. Yeah, yes, thank, you, thank you very much for joining in. We, we only got a couple, couple more minutes, minutes before, before I'm done here, so hopefully, hopefully I'll see you noon, noon at Four Nation for the Catacomb. Sounds good. I'll be checking in if I'm not busy at work. Please do, man. It's good to see you. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody. Thanks for having me. See you, Hooligan. Stay sworn, brother. Yeah. Everybody, let's get a shout out. Landon was great enough to join us. Wow. See, guys, this is what I like to do. I like to bring you guys in so you just stop watching. I want you guys to be a part of the show. I want to know what got you hooked into us. What is it that we do that you like, you know? We're a community. Uh, we're nerds and geeks just like you guys. We love our collectibles. Randy's just happen to be shoes and new kids on the block. My stuff is Godzilla. Jimmy's got a plethora of amazing horror stuff. Um, we're all into this stuff, and we all bring a little something special um, here at Coffin Comics, and we hope that shines through out to you guys. And like I say, we, we don't like to play. We want you to be a part of our group. We want you to feel accepted. We want you to be the sworn because without you, we wouldn't be here. And we are so damn grateful. And everybody in this community is very lovely. I've met some amazing people from all over the world, just not here in the States. Uh, I've met some people from France. I've met some people from Australia, New Zealand, everywhere. And that's why I'm happy to be here with you guys. I'm happy to share a lot of this wonderful art and these great stories we have to share with you guys. And before I go, um, I just want to give a really big shout out um, to everyone, Bob especially. Um, I'm glad I could get those books to you, Bob. Um, I'm glad you're doing better. Um, if everyone doesn't know, Bob is like a really groovy guy. He is the ultimate groovies. I, I really like him, and he's a really lovely person. So, everyone, I'm going to wrap it up. See me Wednesday, 12 noon, because Wednesday's kind of like new book day. I'm going to be presenting you some more things that I'll be dropping down onto the catacombs. So, thank you very much for joining me. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.